Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, welcome to my video on inverse trig functions. We're going to be look at, looking at how to quickly draw the graphs as a sketch. So let's just quickly talk about inverse functions. If we've got y equals f of x, some function of x, we want to find what undoes this f of x, okay, undoes the function. And we call it f to minus 1. So if we apply that to this equation, we get f to minus 1 of y, doing it to both sides, it undoes this f, and we get left with x. Now if we apply the inverse to our equation y equals sine x, we do sine to minus 1 of both sides, so we get sine to minus 1 of x, because sine to minus 1 and sine are inverses. Now we just said that x was going to be our f to minus 1 of y, so we get that our inverse is sine to minus y of y. That's because we're going from our answer back to our original thing. But if we want it as an individual function on its own, what we're going to do is put the input in, which is x. So if we do f to minus 1 of x, that's going to be sine to minus 1 of x, which is a graph that we're going to draw. Now you can only find inverses of functions if they are one-to-one -one functions. Okay. So what you need to do is restrict the domain into what we call the principal domain so that sine x becomes a one-to-one -one function. The way we do that is we limit it to go only from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. And obviously it goes up to 1, down to minus 1. Now effectively what we just talked about, instead of using y using x, we're swapping y and x. So what we're going to do is we can either reflect in the line y equals x, or we can flip it so that y goes on to x, x goes on to y, and spin it around. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. We put y onto x, x onto y, flip it over, and now we draw again what we can see. We've got our y-axis going up as usual, our x-axis going across. You can see that this value here is minus 1, this value here is 1, you can see it through the paper. You can see what your new inverse graph looks like. Oh, sorry about that. And it goes from pi over 2 to minus pi over 2. Okay, so this graph is y equals sine to minus 1 of x. Okay, let's look at cos to minus 1 and tan to minus 1. Thing with cosine x, we're going to restrict the domain to the principal domain and we get it going from 0 to pi this time. Okay, and remember it goes up to 1 and down to minus 1. So when we want to find um, y equals cos to minus 1 of x, we are using this principal 1 to 1 function and we swap y and x by flipping it over. And as if by magic, you can sketch a perfect inverse cosine function. It goes between minus 1 and 1 in the x direction. And we can see up to pi in the y direction. And this blue line, oh, sorry about that, is y equals cos to minus 1 of x. One more trig function to do, we're going to look at tan x. So tan x, to get it as a one-to-one -one function, we need to go between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2, which gives us this bit in the middle between the first two asymptotes. Okay, So that is the function y equals tan x. We want the inverse of tan x, so we want to swap y and x effectively as our trick says so we swap y and x by flipping x onto y y onto x like so and you can see now your asymptotes have gone horizontal between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2 and tan goes on forever in the positive and negative x direction it is bounded above by pi over 2 in the y direction and below by minus pi over 2. 
and this graph is y equals tan to minus 1 of x. I hope this is helpful. If you don't know some of those keywords I was saying about functions one to one, then you can look that up or ask me any questions. Good luck with your maths. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.